We're at Fontner Brown's Architects in Killingworth and we're an architectural practice with four different studios and today we've been hosting Adriana who is a young inventor. And I've been designing how my model smart house is going to get made. So we introduced Adriana to Steve Dixon who is a senior interior director and um, so he talked Adriana through how we design buildings and how we consider the materiality of the building and the experience of the space. I thought well, if people want to get round easily, some people can get tired or people with wheelchairs can't really go upstairs. So why not have ramps that everybody can either go up or if you want to use stairs, you can turn them into stairs. Next, I introduced Adriana to Beth, and she introduced Adriana to the concept of kind of 3D modelling. So that was really just to show her how we now draw, because she had a preconception that architects primarily sketch, and a lot of the time that is how we, we start our designs, through sketching something out. From that point, we try to develop that into the computer, and it just makes it easier to collaborate and share. Myself and Ian Stevenson, who's a technical manager, um, had prepared a couple of precedent images. So these are just ideas of what we thought her design could kind of materialise into. Um, we'd also asked the model maker to um, model a couple of different types of form because what Adriana had given us was a sectional drawing, which is just 2D information. And we wondered how we could um, create this into a reality and what kind of built form that would take. So we had everything from a cone to a pyramid structure to an A-frame structure. So we worked through those ideas together, made a few tweaks, but generally built on the great ideas that she'd already had. So we went to see Andrew, the model maker, and Adriana took with her the model that she'd chosen. She also took some of the sketches that we developed. And we talked about the special features of my house, and then what material, what colour, and then how, how big this house was going to be. The best thing about my smart home is probably that it helps other, other people and it helps the nature of our world. I think the fact that she's you know, only 10 years old but is really starting to think about real life world issues such as sustainability, such as eco-friendly design and also designing for people and places. She talked a lot about her users and really at the end of the day that's what architects do, they design spaces for people and she's grasped that at a very, very early age. So we've been really impressed with that and um, I hope she continues to kind of develop that skill because it really is quite unique.